Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you my POV of the GFL Tier 1 France race. So, coming up now to my first hot lap in qualifying. Not a bad start, but it could have been a lot better. Crossing the line now, so we're going to go into turn 1. Bridge, it wasn't too bad. Coming up to turn three now, going into fifth gear, cutting the corner a little bit, cutting that corner as well. Now hard on the brakes, going into third, up short shift into fourth and fifth, around the corner. Purple sector one, but obviously this is qualifying one, so it's not that big of a deal. Opening the DRS, they have Tauri moved to the side, could have gotten a slipstream off him, but it's not too big of a deal. Coming up to the next set of corners, the chicane. Going far through there, going down to third, then shot shifting back to fourth with a nice exit. That was also a purple sector two. Now coming up to turn 11, I'm going to go into fifth, go out wide a bit, shot shift to sixth, and then full on the power all the way through. That was really clean. Going down to third, shot shifting fourth using all the track and we're going to come up to the final set of corners in fourth going down to second that was a bit of a ruined corner but here we're going to almost lose it but we just caught it and crossing the line it's going to be a 29.8 now you can see we made it through to Q2 11th Novus going third fastest and we're on our Q2 lap now our first lap in Q2 yeah, that was not a very good first set of corners, but <laughs> you can hear Nova laughing. So yeah, ruined it. Now on our proper lap, with three minutes for the session left. On the soft tyres instead of the mediums, because we just want to get through. That, was, that looked quite quick through there. And then fifth, cutting the corner even more, and cutting that corner as well. We had to go wide there because we didn't break hard enough, which probably lost us quite a bit of time. But hopefully we can pull it back. Opening the DRS, coming up to the chicane, turns eight and nine. I'm almost a whole second up. Okay, Nova says he's almost a full second up. Cutting that corner there. Now the delta is a bit messed up because of um, uh, my lap going through just to get there, and that's a purple sector two. Going on to fifth through turn eleven, shot shifting back up to six, quite late, almost invalidating it there, but that was pretty much perfect. Coming through the final corner now, that was much better than our Q1 run. Nova sets the fastest lap. And opening the DRS, what's the time going to be? It's going to be a 29.500, purple sector 3. Yep. Now we get through in P3 to Q3. On our first run here, it's going to be it going into turn 1 now, cutting that corner. Bit of a late shift to six, but that was very fast. Now turn three, we're gonna cut the corner a bit. And I'm gonna go on my lap now. this corner was much better than our Q2 run, purple sector one. Now opening the DRS on the main straight. It's very dark in this session, which put me off quite a bit but still gave it on my all coming through turn 8 and 9 that was not as good there went a bit wide instead of cutting the corner it's not going to be a purple middle sector Brad setting the fastest lap which is good for him it was his first race here in GFL shot shift is 6th then Going down to third, taking a bit wide to cut in deep, using all the track again. 
Now we're going to come to the final set of corners. And looks pretty good. Even though we went wide and almost oh lost God. it there. Danny set the fastest lap. Are we going to be able to snatch that fastest lap off him? No, we're not. It's a 29-3, which puts us in provisional P3. But now we're down to P6 on our final run of qualifying. Cutting that corner a lot. Shot shift into six there. But we're down on our lap by a little bit. So whether we're going to be able to pull it back or not, we'll, we'll have to find out. So we can go up on it. We're going up on our lap quite a bit but now we're back down on it half a tenth down through sector one opening the DRS on the main straight that was a better exit because we, we have gained 200 through that straight now we're going to improve through sector two cutting that corner very nicely and we are up on our lap by two hundredths now one hundredth no, but 400s apparently. Purple middle sector. Getting a bit of time through there. Going out very wide. Shot shifting quite late. And we've lost a bit of time because of the sh late shot shift. But are we going to be able to gain any more time using all the track? We have gained time. We're 8 tenths up. Down in P7. So we have to set a very good lap here very good final set of corners are we going to be able to do anything there's a better exit from last time but only 1.3 temps up where's that going to put us that's going to put us in p5 well it actually put us in p6 but yasin had a, uh, a group penalty so he's down in p6 formation lap is on see as you can hear nova say the formation lap is on so Sounds it's going to be going, going to the formation the right, right, sound. Now for the formation lap we're just going to try and put heat into our tyres and not push too much, get the engine warmed up, get the brakes warmed up, just the standard good stuff. Weather shouldn't play a factor today. We're expecting it to rip. <sighs> right, good look. So we go to three lights, start revving up the engine, four lights, five lights. And away we go, that was quite long there. We didn't get the best of starts, but Brockale did not get a good start whatsoever. Yasin was on a pretty good start, but we do not lose positions going into first corner. So we hold it out, squeeze him a little bit, but leaving him enough room to stay on the track. And holding our position at P5. Now we're going to try and make up some positions here. But disaster for the Red Bulls is going to be coming up, as you'll see in a few seconds. Just finishing sector one now, but as you can see, just ahead in P2, Nova spins Fuck. and hits it in the barriers. You can hear him raging. I don't there. even know. Um, I was on the exit and he just Nova spun it. I have no clue how. I have no idea how that's just happened. So now that Nova's it doesn't make sense. I was literally position, on the exit and it we're just gonna spun try me. and do our best to gain as much points for the Red Bulls well, to great, gain on the Alpines. I always have to fuck my races up bro. Obviously there's no safety car. I mean obviously, because it's me, so why else wouldn't it be a safety car? Yeah, you can hear him complaining yep. there. It's but it's more. just unfortunate. Very unlucky yep. for us today. Okay, we got a shit start which I thought he would have done. We were both very unlucky in this race, as you'll see in the future, picking up our first warning there. As Brockale is going quite slow and he's putting us off a bit. 
Now Brad is leading the race, which is very interesting seeing he's quite new, but skipping to lap three here in the DRS train. We already have 20% tyre wear, so tyre wear is very high around this track, so strategy will pay off. Would help if the caps were right. Getting a better run out of turn one and turn two, I believe, on Brockhale. It's just going to be a massive DRS train up the main straight. DRS activated now. As you can see a little lag spike, but nothing major. I need a safety car for this race. So as I'm not making it. So the front two getting away um, a little bit there. 1.1 to Danny from me. So obviously oh Brockhale yeah. will be about eight tenths uh, behind him. So it's still be the DRS it. train. But Brockhale really slowing us down there. I remember in the moment that it was quite annoying because I was, I was losing quite a bit of time because of Brockhale. But he was on the medium tyres, so he's not a slow driver. It's probably just a tyre compound. Someone's gone. As you can see, if you look on the bottom left in the minimap, there's a massive train of, of just a DRS train. Loads of cars there, and then there's a big gap to the guys coming out of the final corner now. We had a very good run on Brocco, wanting to get past him, very eager, but we just stay behind, keeping it safe, not trying to do any stupid moves. We're going for the long game here, need to pick up points, so we don't want to be taking major risks. Already using 50 cent star battery, which is not that good, but we can obviously just do lifting coasting and hopefully that will bring us some ERS back. I don't think we did that, which is could have been stupid, but it's not too big of a deal. We are gaining slightly on Brockhale, it might be the tyre compounds, it could just be raw pace or, or the setup from higher downforce, less downforce. All that, but skipping to lap 7 here. Brad did spin out a couple laps earlier, I do believe, so we are moved up into P3 and we do have the fastest lap. Brockhale going for a move on Danny, the championship leader currently. And Brockhill gets the move done. Yes. Of VSC. Been an on track, now this is very interesting right because be okay. me, Danny, and Dark yeah. can pit because we're on old softs. Yeah. So we can go to uh, fresher tyres. Now we're going to come in for the pits and go on the medium tyres, which I did manage to take to the end of this race. I was supposed to be doing a two-stop, but you'll see at the end of this lap. Oh, further on in this lap, why? I took these to the end. Green flag. So just oh, a, a normal, shit, normal race on the back of Danny, and then we're gonna come onto the main straight right now. Obviously, shot shifting up to fifth. Almost losing the car there, but you can see the lag. And then my game crashes. So that was very unfortunate for me as well. And I was very annoyed. You can look in the top left. I was yeah, shouting. It came back. And it said migrate in house and everyone left. So I had to leave and rejoin. Which was so annoying for me. And I was P8 fighting a the one race. of the quickest guys and the championship leader down into 13th losing so much time and so much position yeah but you're literally so many positions think about me I'm moving I was very annoyed 17th. because the guy There's that no I was fighting safety before cars. was coming up to turn 11 and we're only coming up to turn 10 now 
so I was I can imagine not how one annoyed I was. Davy oh, C retiring, but in obviously the pits, it's, in the so it's not. It's not got any effect. Now coming up behind me, Alpha Tower of Kilsu, Kislu. I don't know how to say that. Sorry if I said your name wrong. You watching this? But we've got the DRS. He must be using his DRS to keep ahead of us. But we're gonna commit, get the move, almost go making contact, but we're not riding that curve a lot. But we have got the move done. Now we're gonna try and catch up to Hag and Dark to get the uh, DRS. Kilsu might try a move on the back of us, but too far behind from the DRS zone to go for a move now. Now we have caught up to Haag, lap 14 here, in a DRS train, Brockhell, Haag and me. Now I did lose so much time in my opinion because of Haag just not, being, not going for a move and losing too much time throughout the rest of the track before the DRS zones. So I was getting quite annoyed at how much time I could have been gaining if it was just me and Brockhill. But at the end of the day no. it did pay off. They're just this so DRS we've been on train. these thirteen laps and we're almost fifty percent. We're trying to go wider for a better exit out of here, but it doesn't seem to work as we are on quite old mediums. Been on this uh, seven laps. But we take them to the end. Very high tire wear around this track. Opening up the DRS now. Haag is, as I've said, too far back Bad to go for a move on Brockhale. And look here, too far back again. Skipping to lap 23 now. Just a DRS train the entire way. But around here, I realised that I could get a podium. Because I had no, no penalties. And Haag had six seconds. And Brockhale had six seconds. So I knew I could get a podium. I didn't know who was P1 and P2. I just knew it would have been Danny in one of the spots. And I didn't know who else it would have been. And I didn't know if they had any penalties. So luckily, it Dark did have penalties and he wasn't the other one. But Hag too far back to get the DRS now. So I'm going to open up the DRS and I'm wanting to get this move done quickly. I've lost so much time because of him and I go straight past him absolutely just flying past nothing he could do there I'm going to try and catch up to the back of Brockhale for the DRS cutting that corner very nicely there and there no warnings very clean I'm trying to push as much as I can to catch up to Brockhale for this DRS I was 1.2 behind but he went very slow there I gained three temps on him and had the and have have got the DRS sorry. Now I've already gained such a big gap to Haag. But look at this now, three point two to Haag and one second behind Brockhill, gaining on the two leaders of the race. So the win was still in sights at this point, but because of my very high tire wear, I don't think it would have been possible. Cutting this corner very nicely, and cutting this corner very nicely now. Coming up to the main straight with DRS. We are one second behind, but Brockhill messes up a bit and goes off the track, getting another three temps through there, enabling us to use the DRS. 65% tire wear on the front left. I was very unsure if I would get a puncture, if I could make it or not. But just trying to nurse these tires to the end, doing very well of doing that I would say in my opinion now half a second behind Brockhale Swire has got the fastest lap on them soft compound tyres but with a three second penalty so I was safe from him on the final lap now Brockhale is very nice for this just lets me go straight by to try and get that uh, P2 as I am and I'm pretty sure he realised that he was not fighting for the P2 he would have gotten dropped down because of me but when I saw that Dark had 6 seconds of penalties I was very happy because that means I would have gotten P2 if it stayed like this 
after my game crash, which would have been a very good result for me. Brockow backs off from going for a move, which is, I don't know what he was trying to do, but I respect him for it. Now I'm just trying to get to the end, nursing the tyres through the final, final sector. Turn 11 now, just keeping it nice and steady, not too much power, just to make it to the end here. And through the final corners, now on the final corner, this is where I would have gotten P2, so congratulations to Danny for winning. And yeah, Nova crying about it in the background. Fucking two wins in a row. But in a row. I don't know if you saw up in the top left. He's got two wins in I a row. I should have been P2, but because of the desync, it only put me P3. But in the end, it did give me P2 through the stewards. They did give me P2. Now, as you can see, Danny and the Alpine on the top step, then Dark in P2, then me in P3. I should have been in the P2 spot, but it's not too big of a deal. Anyways, thank you for watching my POV of GFL Tier 1 France.